And I'm Meg, up in a TMI. As usual, I'm looking for your help because my hair got us this gorgeous little furniture set. A tahu in it, stunning. It's really cool, eh? So that's all sorted. And Ariya no te nei takiwa, but this entranceway is not exactly saying no mai haere mai. It's kind of saying go away, no one lives here, maybe a prison. <laughs> yeah, no, that kind of thing. Oh, I don't think it's quite that bad. It's all right, Stace. But I think what it needs here is some wow factor. And so who doesn't want a little bit of wow factor at their front door? So basically, I've got a really lovely rusty large feature pot which we can place right next to the front door and we're going to plant that with a lovely red quarter line and some structural natives and so over here we've got a lovely rustic timber planter which we're going to plant out with some lovely glossy green clematis and then I've got some really cool bright little roses to really create that vintage look with my he's beautiful dining set. And now, how hung are you? So, what have we got here? Well, we've got some oi oi, which is a native reed. Kapai tene ipu mona. So, this is a good kind of container for this one. They're great in containers because they're so structural and again, that texture. Hoi ano tata we have faka toi we native ipu. So, we just need to plant these. Perfect. And um, we're also going to use some water crystals in this pot as well, just so you don't have to water it too often. If you're not using a container mix, then I would recommend putting some fertiliser in there too, maybe some slow release. But the the beauty of the container mix we've got today is that it already has that fertiliser in it. OK, so first thing I'm going to do is put some rocks in the bottom of the pot, just for a bit of drainage. OK. We'll put some water crystals in underneath the oi oi plant. OK, bye bye. Do you want to give that a little... Midi midi. Midi midi. Oh, jeez, quite quiet. So they're like... These are like rocks. Yeah, sometimes the plant gets a little bit too big for the bag, and so you really have to tease the roots out quite harshly. And so we'll plant this just so that the soil level will come up to just below the rim here. Lovely. Mmm, that's how quirky. It already looks so cute. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Let's put our cord line in here for some nice colour. And we'll put that right in the centre of the pot, I think. This sort of looks like maybe related to flax or cabbage tree or something. You got it, cabbage tree. So this is actually a dwarf cordyline, which has been bred for that beautiful red colouring in the leaves. So this is a poor hue hue. Yeah, that's right. So this is a really low growing ground cover and you'll often find this in a coastal situation or even a, in a rockery. And it's actually even going to start crawling over the edges of the pot just to soften it and make it look all kind of wild and rambly and gorgeous. Lovely, look at that. Wow. Piwarite this is so cute, this little wooden planter. So I guess it relates to this area, the trellis. Yeah, and also it's a little bit more low key over here. But a nice simple timber planter will be perfect for these native clematis. Now they have quite coffee eye when they and so why did you choose them? They're gonna climb up there, are they? Yeah, well they've got tendrils which will actually attach themselves all the way up this trellis, and so it's really easy to do. And also they've got beautiful white flowers on them. Um, and so that's gonna make a statement all of its own when they come into bloom. Me matua kimi i tetahi tane, tetahi wahine meki. Do you have to get the male and female? No, not at all. I just think it's nice having the, the slightly different plants. Me here nga akaka matua ne, so we want to tie the main trunk parts in. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Is that it might be easier to tie the top bit in? Anone kwaku makawe puhu tutinga. It's like my messy here in the morning trying to figure out where these things go. Atahwe hua. What are these? These are flower carpet roses. So they're like a dwarf rose, which actually has these beautiful red flowers on. I think they're going to look particularly beautiful in this old rusty pot. We've got a container mix here, and we're just going to mix in a little bit of blood and bone, just because I just love that some water crystals and then we're just going to simply take these roses out of their plastic pot and put them into our vintage container. So three really easy things to do, impact everywhere, tairua toru e toru ngā mea nui and one of them is good friends who help so thank oh, you so much. <laughs> You're welcome.